Here are the critical points explained briefly on measuring hemoglobin concentration using a biochemistry analyzer. Your doctor may suggest a hemoglobin test if you're experiencing weakness, fatigue, shortness of breath or dizziness. These signs and symptoms may point to anemia or polysemia vera. A hemoglobin test may help diagnose these or other medical conditions. Step 1. Collecting the blood sample properly collect a patient's blood sample into an EDTA tube to prevent clotting. Step 2. Preparing the con tubes accurately measure and prepare two con tubes, one with 2 milliliters and the other with 500 ol of drabskin reagent using micropipettes. Step 3. Mixing the blood sample use a micropipette to add 10 ol of the patient's blood sample to the con tube containing 2 milliliters of drabskin reagent and let it sit for 3 minutes. Step 4. Setting up the biochemistry analyzer, select the hemoglobin program on the biochemistry analyzer. Zero the analyzer using distilled water and micropipettes for precision. Step 5. Aspirating the reagent blank Aspirate the reagent blank from the 500 Alcon tube for calibration. Step 6. Aspirating the patient's sample Aspirate the con tube containing the patient's blood sample mixed with reagent using a micropipette. Step 7. Observing the result interpret the results displayed on the biochemistry analyzer, noting reference ranges and clinical significance. Remember, precision is key in obtaining reliable results. If you found this guide helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more informative content. Feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching, and stay curious.